my stamping friends. It is Kim Vogel with the Basement Bunch Stampers, and I'm here for another Terrific Tuesday video. Today I'm going to share with you some cute cards that I created. Um, these cards are actually going to be the Christmas cards that my husband sends to all of his customers that he's worked with over the last year. Um, most of you know, and some of you may not know if you're not watching my Touch Base Thursdays. So if you're not following me on Facebook, make sure you search for Kim Vogel's Basement Bunch Stampers. Um, and you'd be able to catch me every single Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But my husband's an electrician and he owns his own business. And every year I create a card for him to send out to all of the customers that he's done business with over the course of the year. And this is the card that I've created for him this year. And I loved the fact of how awesome this looks, having the wrapped in plaid designer series paper paired with the wonderful Mary Moose bundle that's um, available in our holiday catalog. Let me share with you this bundle really quick. So the bundle includes this stamp set. This is the Mary Moose stamp set. You have both a solid image of the moose and then just an outline. So you could, you know, um, stamp the outline in black and, and color him in with a different color of an ink. Um, and then there's also a coordinating punch that punches the moose out. So it makes it really, really ideal to be able to do some quick stamping and punching. I also put this little scarf on my moose, you can see right here, and those I simply hand cut, and they went really, really fast. There was not a punch or a die for that, but it went really fast when I cut these. And now this bundle together in our holiday catalog sells for $31.50, so a really good value where you get both the stamp set and the coordinating punch. You save 10% by buying them as a bundle for $31.50. So today I'm going to share with you how I created this card and the measurements for it, and we're going to make a little bit of a different version. I'm going to use yet one additional pattern of this paper from the wrapped and plaid um, paper pack. So let's go ahead and get started. I used crumb cake for the base of my card. This is cut five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm folding it in half at four and a quarter. This will become the base of our card for today. And then I have a another piece of crumb cake. This is also um, cut five and a quarter by four. And what I did is I actually stamped a couple of the trees from the stamp set onto this piece of crumb cake in advance. Let me bring in the stamp set and show you the stamped image that I used. I stamped this one right here. And I used the Tuxedo Memento Black, and I just went ahead and I um, stamped on each side of this paper. I then ran it through the embossing folder using our Subtles embossing folder. The Subtles embossing folder just gives it a little bit of a texture. Let me pull this right in so you can kind of see the texture into that cardstock. From there, I went ahead and adhered these two together. I'm using some of our snail adhesive. Now, um, there will also be in the link, um, or in the description of this video, a link to my blog. Um, if you're not following me there, you can follow um, my blog. I also um, have a link there for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You then get notifications every time I post a new video, which is usually always on Tuesdays, and also my um, Touch Base Thursdays on my Facebook Lives get posted there as well. So it's just a great little way to kind of um, stay up with me. Um, you can also follow me on Pinterest. I then have a piece of the basic black cardstock. This is cut four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then I have a piece of the wrapped in plaid cut four by three. So you can see I'm making a different version. I have not made one yet coordinating with this awesome blue um, plaid. So I'm just going to adhere these two together. And then I'm going to adhere this onto my card. So you'll see that once I adhere this piece onto my card, you're gonna only see the edges of those trees, which is completely okay, because that's kind of what I wanted it to look like, was that there was a forest behind this part right here. I then have a piece of cardstock. This cardstock is cut four and a quarter by three fourths of an inch. And then in advance, I went ahead and stamped the happiest of holidays. Now this sentiment is also from the Mary Moose stamp set. And I went ahead and I stamped that using our new um, Delicata um, Golden Glitz ink pad. Now we sell these ink pads in both 
Um, and uh, they're in silver, gold, and in copper. This is the gold. And you can see how beautiful it stamps onto some black cardstock. Now, it did take a little bit longer for this to dry, but you could also take your heat tool and apply heat on that temperature setting number one, and you would be able to have that dry a little bit faster if you were in a hurry for making your cards. I simply let it dry and um, came back to that part later. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this strip onto my piece and it will go all the way to the end. And next I'm going to put one of the mousse on my card. So what I did is I went ahead and I stamped this mousse onto crumb cake cardstock using the black ink again. And then I went ahead and using the punch, I lined it up and punched this out. And it's really, really easy to do because once you once you have it stamped, um, you can put that piece of cardstock right in here on the top and you line it right up and it um, punches right out. I then went ahead with some of the scraps that I had left over and I stamped a scarf, cut that out and adhered that with a glue dot. I'm now gonna adhere this entire piece of, um, of this little sentiment here with the mousse onto my card using Stampin' Dimensionals. And look at how quick and simple that card went together. And I love it that it's very masculine, very appropriate, I feel, for um, uh, my husband's business to be sending these out. Sometimes I struggle with finding a card that's not too, um, you know, too feminine for him. And he actually liked these. And true story, I made these at an event I was at this past weekend. And one of the attendees, um, her name is Jenny, loved them so much that she um, bought, I made 48 of them and she bought 35 of them because she loved them. Um, which was a huge compliment to me because I love it when people love my stuff. But um, you can see the different variation that you get simply by changing out this piece of 4x3 um, designer series paper from that plaid um, stack. So anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this quick video today and this awesome, simply cute card. And I love how the glitter, the the um, the gold here, really kind of offsets the gold that's in this paper and just makes it all come together so nicely. So thank you all so very much for stopping today. I hope that you've enjoyed this card and I hope that you consider adding the Mary Moose bundle to your collection. There is a link in the description of my video to be able to place your online order for these awesome products today. And I have them all listed there for your convenience. Thank you so very much for stopping. And again, make sure you look for me on Facebook, search for Kim Vogel's Basement Bunch Stampers and like my page, join my group. Look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.